and welcome to Always Sublimation Blinks um, YouTube channel. Hi! Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to use the template that you can get on the website. And this is for the 20 ounce tumblers. So you can upload that to your computer and I'm going to show you how to like drag and drop and use your favorite like digital paper so you can get started, print it out, tape it to your cup and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, so let's get started with that. But first, let me tell you a little bit about um, Always Blinks. So we are a sublimation blinks company that specializes in sublimation stuff. So um, apparel, that's what we started with. So our t-shirts, we have colored sublimation t-shirts, tanks, baby shirts, infant shirts. Um, so we have infant shirts and like youth toddler shirts. This is one, this is our gray. Or Heather Gray and you can see how it sublimates it sublimates amazing so yeah but that'll be another video talking about that stuff this video stay tuned and we are going to talk about how to upload these um, digital paper templates because I know a lot of people on the Facebook group have had issues and not um, not knowing how to get their design and get um, the template working at the same time so if you're new if you just started this will be definitely handy little trick for you to kind of drag and drop and definitely streamline your process with that. If, um, again, if you are new and you're still learning things, our group is amazing with that. They always, I chime in whenever um, I can and everybody on the group always pops in if you have anybody has any questions about anything. Um, for my tumblers, I always do 400 at six minutes. No. Yeah, 400 at six minutes. I use an internal um, thermostat in there, and if for some reason the temperature drops, then I'll add like another 30 seconds. Um, so sometimes my internal thermostat will read like 385. So then I'm knowing that, okay, the temperature is not as high as it should be, so I'll add another 30 seconds, and that seems to compensate. But everybody's tumbler is a little different, so when you're first starting out, make sure to kind of stock up on like blow pieces, which that means just like if they mess up, like you're just testing things out to see if they work. Or maybe start out with one tumbler and start out with like one design to make sure that's your settings because everybody's oven is different. And so that will help guide you with your oven opposed to like wasting a bunch of blanks and getting frustrated. Um, so yeah, so check out the website, join our Facebook group because we're awesome and everybody there is so awesome and lots of informative stuff. And all of our new products get dropped in there first before we tell anybody else. When we get new batches of inventory in, our Facebook group is the first to know and guess what? Those skinny tumblers go so fast. So um, yeah, so definitely check that out. Okay, stay tuned and let me get to my laptop. Hi guys. I'm going to show you how to use our template to do the 20 ounce full bleed skinny tumbler. So let's get started. So at this point, you're going to get the template from the website and then you're going to save it to your computer. So you're going to go to your files and grab it. I have mine over here. So here's mine. So I'm going to tap on it. And I'm actually just going to drag and drop. And so I use Silhouette, and that's kind of been the easiest for me to use. Um, the been, the, it's been the most user-friendly to kind of um, edit when I need to edit, or um, it's not too complex. So if you're just getting started, that's um, not too bad of a learning curve. So anyway, so you're just going to get that file and drop it onto your canvas. There she is. So you're going to put it right here and it should fit right inside an eight and a half by 11 canvas size. So I'm going to ungroup these just, just so the words aren't there. But you don't have to, but I just did that for the sake of getting it out of the way. So now you have your template. You're going to go back into your files and grab the digital paper that you want to use. If you already have that set up, um, something that you wanted to use. Um, or you could use this template as like a placement. But I'll show you that in a minute. Okay. So 
So let's find my digital paper. Here we are. Okay. Let's see. I think I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to grab this one right here, and I'm just going to drop it into my template. So I'm going to drop it right there, and I'm going to let it load. Just thinking about it. There you go. I'm going to get out of here, and there she is. So now you, still, you see that you still have the red border. So you can click on that, and you're going to get select that, and you're going to go to your line style, and then just go to transparent, and that'll take that away. Then you can flip it over and print it out, and there you should go. So um, when you print it out, um, you can either, this is going to create about a half inch um, overlap when you print it out, and then when you tape it to your cup. So just keep that under consideration when you are making your designs and then when you're lining it up on your cup also. So let's just say that you want to, oh, you want to use the template as like a placement to see like what's in the front, all that good stuff. Okay, so there she is. So let's say that, so we know that this is the front and these lines are going to be the seam in the back. So like if you wanted to write a name or let's say you wanted to do something like, let's see. Um, the glitters, um, keep in mind, hide the seam very well. So let's see, I'll just put a glitter right in there. And that's good. And then say I wanted to do all glitter and then just the name in the middle. I'm gonna select that, choose my color. And go white and then choose my font. Excuse my son as he's putting things in the dishes. Thanks, Ocean. Okay. Gonna size it up a little bit. I'm gonna duplicate it just to kind of add some effect. I want, to, I want the white one on top, so I'm going to right click, bring to the front, so that one put, that put the black behind it, and just so I can kind of add like a little shadow or something. This is just a quick example to show you like kind of how you would place it on your, on your um, 20 ounce tumbler. So now when I print it out, actually don't forget to take that red seam out also. So we're gonna go to line and then put that to transparent. So now that's gone. You're gonna flip it over and then boom, you could print from there and the name would be in the center of your cup and these would be the seams on the side. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Um, we, always, um, we always update inventory, new inventory and new things on our Facebook group so be sure to um follow us and hang out with us on there and the website always has our upcoming and new things also so yeah stay tuned for more videos and the template will be available on the website